I was excited to set off on my adventure for this unusually warm February day. I wasn't expecting to be back in the water for months. I was also not expecting my first setback to come minutes into my trip. Of course I should have known better. It would be the first of many. Is that ice? That ain't gonna work too good, is it? Well, I know that the uh, river is flowing. It's well into the 50s. Uh, I really wasn't expecting this. But I gotta cross the lake before I get to the river to start my destination. And it is frozen. <laughs> this lake, this small lake, pond, whatever you wanna call it, is frozen. Oh, it's well into the 50s, so I really wasn't expecting this. Um, I hate to get myself into a pickle by trying to push across. So yeah, I'll give you the lowdown on uh, what the heck we're doing, what the plan is for today, uh, in just a little bit, as soon as I figure it out myself. So <laughs> hang tight, I'll be right back with you. Thanks, we are rocking and rolling. <laughs> Woo! What is up everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Oh man, I didn't know if this was gonna come together. There's a lot of moving pieces and just putting this simple overnight together. But uh, all of the pieces seem to be in place and we are moseying on down the river. It is so high and it is moving fast. It's usually not this fast and it's usually not this high. So um, we had a crazy, crazy warm up this week. Um, temperatures got up today, almost up to close to 60 degrees and I saw it coming a couple days ago and I thought man I haven't had a canoe trip in February on this channel yet so um, yeah might as well take advantage of it um, this coming summer I'm hoping to do um, a, a handful of lengthier um, canoe trips at any rate we're out here today I'm just doing the canoe I'm doing some river canoeing I've got an e-bike stashed um, at the end of the trip underneath a random bridge. <laughs> oh, I've just pulled over and banked on the shore here real quick. Um, I've got definitely got some maneuvering coming up here. Um, there's downed trees and I knew there would be. Hopefully not too many. This is a public park. It's also a park that doesn't exactly allow camping. I'm gonna camp here anyway. Not planning on keeping a super low profile. I'm just gonna find a 
spot that is out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and paddle the river. We're gonna have ourselves this very small fire, I think. We'll see, we'll gauge it how it is when we get there. This is a park where I do a lot of canoeing over the years. It's basically like a loop um, with a couple of portages in it. And I've always wanted to go a little bit further down the river. So what I did was I stashed an e-bike down further down the river underneath a random bridge just so I could go a little bit further past where the loop ends. I'll then leave the canoe, take the e-bike back to the car, bring the car back, retrieve the canoe. So all of that should be uh, able to be done in a fair amount of time. I'm gonna tell you guys kind of why I'm doing all of this stuff a little bit later. Um, we'll probably save that for a nighttime discussion. For now, I'm gonna enjoy the river. I'm gonna enjoy the weather. I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna have a wonderful night. But before we do any of that, I've gotta take a little nip off of the old banana flask. <laughs> Trying something new here. I don't think I've had that one before. It's called Hotel Tango. At least that's what it says on the bottle. <laughs> uh, and yeah. That's gonna take a little getting used to. Woo! All right, let's do it. Brace yourself and hang tight. This is all right. Whoa, Nelly. Cool. Just pulled over to get some drone footage. Yeah, doing good. How are you guys doing? And uh, canoes parked here. I just realized right in front of me, <laughs> I didn't even notice it the whole time, what I'm about to have to deal with. Whew. Easy daylight on top of it too. Okay. All right, well, this should be fun. Ooh, high silver. Hmm, looks like I can take a little detour. So I'm gonna try that. Whoa! Oh man, the back of the canoe just got swept around. Fun stuff. Okay, now we're going over a log. Oh boy. Oh, easy peasy. Pumpkin squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, Nelly. Oh, there was a log jam back that way. So now I got no choice but to go up this direction. It's all right. That is all right. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Nelly. Whoa. That's not going to happen. That is definitely not going to happen. There's no way I'm getting under that. Got to pull over. Got to pull over. Get on over to this route. Oh, God. Doggone it. Perfect. Okay, now I'm nice and pinned. <laughs> okay.
We're doing it. We are doing it, period. Oh my goodness sakes. Whew. Fun stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite un into the park enough um, to set up camp and I am losing light. I'm still seeing people hiking occasionally. Um, but at some point here, I'm gonna have to make a judgment call. So. I'm gonna, uh, whew, I'm gonna check on the map, and I know there's a spot, um, a little stretch there that's pretty remote once we get in. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting camp set up, that's for sure. Oh, doggone it, man. You gotta be kidding me. See if we can scooch around that side over there. Woo, Nelly! Oh my freaking goodness. Okay. Whoa, baby. Yeah. Whew, how low can you go? <laughs> there is a um, paddling company, uh, a canoe, kayak rental place and I think they typically come up here there's a park service too I think that comes out and uh, clears the river uh, but yeah obviously they're not doing it in the off season it wouldn't make any sense Ooh. let's go check this out this is it this will have to do. Yeah, I think I picked about uh, the worst place I possibly could to camp. I've seen two older couples walking behind me back over here on the trail. I looked at the map of this park. I never really hiked it much. I just always canoed and kayaked it. And I didn't think there was any trails back here. Maybe there's some unofficial ones. I don't know. But two couples walking by and they're just uh, stopping and staring at me the whole time. So why wouldn't they? not exactly the most uh, inconspicuous thing I'm doing here but uh, we're in it at this point because it's about to get dark um, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best um, yeah I was ever gonna get caught camping somewhere I'm not supposed to this would probably be the time knock on wood just gonna hope for the best and uh, um, yeah.
good. How are you? I have made what can only rightfully be referred to as an error in judgment. This was not a smart move. I have seen no less than five individuals or groups coming super, super close, including the ones I believe you saw who walked up 20 feet from me and then turned around and left. It is what it is. I'm here. Traffic noise too just the worst. What are you going to do? So this was somewhere that's relatively close to my house and I'm trying to work out the kinks for doing a river trip solo without having to hire an outfitters. And outfitters are awesome. And I use uh, Harinas up in uh, Manistee National Forest when I do the Pine River. So they're great. But yeah, I just had a batch of nice weather and I wanted to try one of these because I've been wanting to kind of work the kinks out on a trip like this. And um, so many people saw me in here and you know, I guess I, I just figure at this point, if I'm going to um, get caught, then I'm going to get caught. So I'm just going to go through um, the rest of my night. I'm, you know, I'm not going to have a fire because I'm not going to add insult to injury. I'm camping where I'm not supposed to and a lot of people saw me. So no reason to do all of that. But um, yeah, we're going to finish out the camp and I'm going to try to enjoy myself. What else can I do? Cheers. Yeah. So hopefully I explained that well enough earlier. I never know if I'm explaining things that correctly or, or not but um i have several river trips planned that i really want to do um that i can do in a couple two three nights um and then the my strategy is to hide an e-bike at the end um back in the woods somewhere and then be able to take that 
back to my car while I leave the canoe at the endpoint, retrieve my car, rig up the e-bike on the rack on the back, come back with the car and retrieve the canoe. So that's my plan. I have some trips picked out in uh, Appalachian mountain ranges in uh, Pennsylvania. I got some stuff in Northern Michigan. I got some stuff I wanna do for sure. I got some, some trips um, that I'd like to do in Canada. Not sure how that will work taking an e-bike across the border. Unfortunately, I had all these people stumble across me. So I'm a little nervous about it, but I think everything should work out fine. After all, I'm Sam Bananas. <sighs> We're gonna have to be very careful about this. Not sure if I used too much water or exactly what happened, but these are super runny. I tried this at home and it worked fine, so I don't know what happened this time. Hard to mess up instant mashed potatoes. But we're gonna eat it anyway, because we're camping. This is atrocious. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. That is awful. What a disaster. This looks like what you get served if you're in like a science fiction prison. Ugh. That is not even edible. Ugh. That is absolutely atrocious. Oh God. I mean, if I was starving to death, I, I would complain. What did I do wrong? That's not the worst thing in the world. Well, you win some, you lose some. End of the day.
wasn't going to be able to try anything new if you don't make some mistakes once in a while. So I tried it at home. I can't eat backpacking meals all the time at home to test stuff out. Um, that's not super healthy, you know, so I, I'm already camping a lot and eating junk like that a lot. So, so anyway, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know, I, I got to try once in a while. So, you know, a, a big part of this channel is something that I believe in is uh, leaving stuff like that in so you guys can see the ups and the downs. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the hay and I'll check back with you guys in the morning. That um, nature hike chair broke last night. One of the supports um, for the legs. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It, it. it broke, it doesn't work anymore. So um, gotta figure something else out in the future for a chair. It is chilly, chilly, chilly this morning. Colder temperatures are back on the way. I have a feeling that um, we're not gonna have an overflow of hikers like we did yesterday. Yesterday was also in the evening when people are off of work. This is uh, a weekday today. I'm so just gonna go ahead and get torn down ASAP and hit the road because um, I have a friend's birthday dinner that I have to go to tonight. So looking forward to that. But yeah, we gotta get the heck out of here and we gotta complete the rest of the thing. I still gotta go down the river, stash the canoe, retrieve the e-bike, go back for the car, take the car back for the canoe. So this is gonna be a fun process. I'm filming the entire thing. Don't you dare go anywhere because I got a lot of work left to do and I really, really hope you stick around to see it. Whew. All right, let's get it all done. Rocking and rolling. This should be interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna slow it way down. Woohoo! 
Cool. This is the normal takeout point, so we're gonna be going past this. All right, we got something. We got something fun coming up here. Whew, I've never been this far before, so here we go. Relaxing. Cool. Ooh, Nelly. Ooh, so okay, we're going under. I'm not getting past that. Wait, can I? Can I go around the other side? I think, okay. Yeah, I can go. I can or I can't? Nope, that is a straight up log jam. There's no getting around there. Oh yeah. No getting around that. Okay, we gotta go over here. Yep, no getting away around that, that's for sure. And there's another one up past it, so I'm gonna hike around it. Yeah, we wanna make a quick work out of this, so let's be snappy about it. It's like a nice little trail here. It takes me part of the way around it anyway, so that's helpful. My guess is that's a deer blind, makeshift deer blind fell down. Okay. 
Oh, duck on it. Oh, duck on it. Well, there's that. Well, um, the canoe is right there. I got this. And then I'm on the other side of the log jam there. That's the big old log jam behind us. There's no way. There is no getting through that. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but just trust me. <laughs> I'm not doing this for fun. Um, I think I can just drag the canoe and go right over all of this. A little treacherous, but I don't, I don't think it'd be too bad. So um, we're gonna give it a try without even unloading everything. I'm just gonna try to drag it and see what I can do. Oh, it's working out okay. Okay. Well, I had a feeling something like that would happen. Oh. Come on, come on. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's both shoes soaking wet and muddy. But we are moving, and that's all that counts. No! And there's no way to get around that. Oh, crap. Shoes are already soaking wet, so this is what it is. Ugh. How deep are we right here? Oh, we're deep, all right. I'll be up to my waist, so I do not want to fall. What's the best way to do this? Uh, what made me think this was going to be a good idea, I swear. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I wanted to see what was on the other side. I guess I got my wish here. Oh, just to show you what I just did here. There's the land. Here's a big log. It's not exactly the easiest thing to sell. But the whole point of coming out here is to, is to make a video. So I want to show you guys. So I'm doing my best. So hopefully this is turning out good. And hopefully, uh, you know, you're enjoying some type 2 fun on the old YouTube here. Oh, don't forget to uh, click that banana. And then as soon as I put back in, I'm going to have to deal with this. So that'll be fun. Woo. All right, so 
everything's secured. So if I tip, I tip. Should be fine. something out of nothing it's kind of fun there it is ladies and gentlemen there it is not a moment too soon either For crying out loud Okay, now I just have to make my way through all this mangled mess. Way back over there is that e-bike. Hopefully it's still there. I'm gonna leave the canoe and everything chilling right here. So I shouldn't be gone that long. And I just really doubt anybody's gonna come down here and investigate it, so yeah. Okay, e-bike is still here. Um, I'm gonna take that back to the car, hook it up, do all the whole, you get the picture of what we're doing here. Yeah, fun day. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did forget to bring a helmet. That's a big no-no. You really don't wanna ride these things without helmets. Normally, I would never do that. I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, I could walk, I guess, but we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do, so. Um, in the future, you'll see me with helmets. In the past, you see, I started wearing helmets. Helmets, helmets. I promised Mrs. Bananas I would wear a helmet. So sorry, babe. I will wear a helmet on the next one, I promise. Woo! All right, let's do it. I almost had a heart attack because I thought I had had the car towed. All right, I I got to like the the first parking lot, and I thought the car had been towed because I don't know if you're allowed to park there overnight or not. Um, and I called the police department; they didn't have it. This and the the office that was there didn't know anything about it because I moved it here. I completely forgot about it. Ah, oh, woo, man. Big time relief. All right, let's get this puppy uh, rigged up here. review for this e-bike on my other channel and I'll link that in the description.
Oh man, gosh darn. <laughs> oh, when I say that was another one for the books, that was really another one for the books. Oh man, what I thought was gonna be a simple thing, I uh, really wasn't and I definitely have some stuff to think about, but um, that is mission success. It's such a big wave of relief when I do these tough ones and then just having everything good to go and ready to head home. Gonna go uh, out with Mrs. Bananas tonight, a friend's birthday dinner. I'm gonna need a good shower, but I'm definitely looking forward to a good meal. Woo! All right, everybody, I, I greatly appreciate everything. Thank you so much for watching these videos. It really, really means a lot. It makes it possible for me to do this. If you liked what you saw today and you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it if you could click that banana. And we're going to catch you on the next one, everybody. Bye.